Most failed spine surgeries don't fail because of poor technique. They fail because the wrong problem was treated or the right problem was handled by the wrong person. This might surprise you, but the biggest reason spine surgeries fail is misdiagnosis. Many a times it so happens that the patient has a problem at one level and has been operated at another level altogether. This leads to persistence of pain in spite of surgery. If you operate on the wrong area, the wrong place, the wrong segment, the pain stays or worse, it spreads. That's called failed wax surgery syndrome. But misdiagnosis isn't the only reason. There are other real risks too, especially when spine surgery is done without true specialization. Poor training, incomplete understanding of spinal mechanics, inexperience with minimally invasive techniques, outdated infrastructure, or just poor surgical judgment can all lead to failed back surgery. Spine surgery is its own speciality. It requires advanced tools, high level planning, and a lot more than just a basic orthopedic background. And sometimes the issue isn't anatomical at all. Psychological factors like anxiety, Anxiety, depression can amplify pain perception and if ignored can make an outcome feel like a failure. How do we avoid failed surgeries? We don't rely on MRI alone. A perfect diagnosis based on clinical examination, static and dynamic x-rays, MRI and sometimes CT scan will help in zoning down on the diagnosis and choosing the right procedure for a particular diagnosis. Only then can we have a successful outcome. And we only operate when we are sure of the pain generator and that surgery is the best option. If someone you know had spine surgery and didn't get better, don't let them give up. They may not need another surgery. They may just need clarity from the right specialist. Please share this video with someone who may need to meet the right specialist.